Good morning everyone. This is Vrishali. In my last lectures, we discussed about ARM processor. There are different versions, features, applications and advantages and disadvantages. We also discussed about difference between ARM and PIC microcontroller and also some previous units points with practical demonstrations. I have mentioned processor architecture playlist link in below description box. Now, in this session, we will learn the next important point that is ARM data flow model. So let's see. Now see here in this diagram. This is ARM data flow model. This model generally provides complete overview of internal structure of the processor. And this model describe how data move between each and every components and interaction between these components. Now see here, there are different lines are present. So these lines indicates the buses. Buses generally used to carry data or address for performing different manipulations. Now arrow. Arrow indicates the flow of data. Means how data will be transferred from one component to another component. Now there are different boxes are present. So these boxes represent the operation unit or storage area. Now I will explain each and every components in detail. Again, see here in this diagram, the ARM processor data flow model always start with the data. Data means data bus. Data bus generally used to carry different instructions or different data items and they send this data to the processor for performing different operations. That's why this data bus is used. So data bus carry different instructions or data items and send to the processor. Now instruction decoder. As we know, each and every hardware programming language or assembly programming language start with the particular address like start 0000H. This is your starting point, right? So whatever the instruction will be sent by this data bus, this instruction translate into the particular starting address. So this is the work of instruction decoder. Each instruction executed belongs to particular instruction set. There are different instruction sets are present in ARM processor. That is arithmetic instructions, then condition instructions or upcode instructions like this. So these instructions also proceed to the particular instruction set. Suppose this data bus carry 2 plus 2. So this is your arithmetic instructions are there. So this in information will be present into the particular instruction set. So instruction decoder decode this instruction and points to the particular starting address. Now, the next one is sign extend. As we know, ARM processor follow RISC architecture and RISC architecture having fixed length that is 32 bit, bit only. So here, data bus send data to the processor. So at that time, this sign extended check that whether the particular data is up to 32 bit or not. Suppose this is your 32 bit data, then they send data to the register. They check that sign or unsigned 32 bit values here. And suppose data bus send data either 8 bit or 16 bit numbers. So sign extended convert to data into the 32 bit. Because 32 bit is a maximum size or maximum value for performing different operations. So this is the work of sign extended. Now next one is register file. As we know, ARM processor follow load and store architecture. Suppose here, this data bus send the data 2 plus 2 from the memory, right? Means they load the data into the processor. So, see here, the first instruction is load. Load instruction means copy data from memory to the register. Data bus means your memory and this is your register, okay? So, load means copy data from memory to the register and this is called as read instruction and after performing operations again send data to register to the memory right this is called as store data into the memory and this operation is called as write so basically ARM processor follow load and store architecture load means copy data from memory to register which is called as read and after performing operation store data from register to the memory this is called as write operations. Next. Now, next one is, see here. There is RN, RM and RD. 
these three registers are there okay so rn and rm these are the source register they carry value of the variables suppose in your program it mention a plus b that is 2 plus 2 so they carry the value that is 2 plus 2 this value carry by the source register and this value are sent to the alu by using this a and b bus okay so a and b b are the internal bus they carry value of the particular operations. Now, this is your RD. RD is your destination register. Suppose RM carry 2 and RM carry 2, that is 2 plus 2. This value sent to the ALU. They perform the operation that is 2 plus 2 equal to 4. And 4 again sent to the register. So, this RD is your destination register. They carry output of particular operation. And this is your result bus. Result bus send data to this particular RD register. So here A, B and result, these three are the internal bus. RN and RM are the source register, they carry value. And RD is your destination register, they carry final result. Next. Now, the next one is ALU and MAC. So ARM processor having two data processing units. That is arithmetic and logical unit and multiply and accumulate unit. So whatever the information are passes by this A and B bus, this information are stored into this ALU. For example, RN equal to 2, RM equal to 2. So this 2 plus 2 information are computed and perform operations here in this ALU part. And after performing operation, answer is 4. So this 4 operation stored into this RD register. And this value carry by this result bus. Okay. So this 4 value again stored into the register file. And register send this data to the memory. Right. Next. Now the next one is address register. So here address register. Address register generally use to hold the address of particular operations. Suppose you have to mention A plus B that is 2 plus 2. So each and every value having a particular address. Means two value can also stored or placed into the particular address. So this address are carried by this address register. And after performing operation, four values are generated. And this four value are stored into the particular address. So this address register broadcast their address and also hold the address of particular operations. Now next one is barrel shifter. See here. So barrel shifter. The main work of barrel shifter is to shift bit by bit data for processing. As we know, processor understand binary language. That is 0101 format. So the working of barrel shifter is, suppose uh, our operation is 2 plus 2, right? So 2 means 0010, right? 0011. So these operations are sent to the barrel shifter. Barrel shifter shift one by one bit. They check their data. They check whether it is 32 bit or not. And after that, they send to the ALU. So this is the work of barrel shifter. Now, the next one is incrementer. So ARM processor follow load and store instruction, right? So incrementer generally used to increment the value or increment the address. For example, suppose after performing 2 plus 2 equal to 4, right? So these four value are stored into the memory. Now you need to perform different arithmetic operation like 3 plus 3 that is 6. So again after that increment means this memory address is incremented and after that 6 value are stored into the particular address. So this incrementer work like a pointer. They increment your sequential address and after that operation will be performed. So in this way this processor complete execution will be formed. So let's review once. There is data bus. Data bus carry the data from the memory. That is 2 plus 2. Sign extended check that whether it is 32 bit of data. Right. So this data will be sent to register file. Again register file having two bus A and B. So RM stored two value. RM again stored two value. Here barrel shifter check bit by bit data and send to the ALU. So ALU having 2 plus 2 equal to 4. And address register stored address of the 4. And this 4 sent to the result file register file by using rd register and this 4 again writes into the memory right 
So in this way, complete data flow model of ARM processor will work. This processor continue execute these all instructions until an exception or interrupt will generate. If there is interrupt will generate, at that time this execution will stop. Otherwise, your continue and normal execution flow is there. Hope so you understood so, complete data flow model of ARM processor. Thank you. Keep learning.